Hey guys, hey girls, hey boys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Mari Bajari here on YouTube. Hello, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, to state the obvious, I am doing a Sally Halloween makeup look for you guys. I got lots of requests to do this right here. I actually got it requested last year and I was like, no, I don't think I wanna do it. And then I got a ton this year. So I was like, okay, it is my time. My lashes stuck. I was like, okay, it is my time to do this look. So this is the Sally makeup look that I have for you guys. Um, just pretend I have a red wig on, okay? I didn't have time to go get one, but if you guys are interested to see how I did this Sally makeup look right here, then I suggest you keep on watching. But before we start this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl posts. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video. <laughs> Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually got a lot of recommendations on me to do this look. Well, not this look, but Sally. Um, I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I have a bunch of these color palettes right here. I'm probably gonna lean towards using these two. Um, obviously Sally is blue, so we're gonna be pretty much just painting up until here blue and then I have to paint on the shirt, which is gonna be a lot. So let me actually pull up a picture of Sally so I can refer to it. Okay, so she is like a turquoise blue. Okay, so I have two brushes right here, one to kind of just paint everything on and then this one to buff it out. So I'm going to take this face paint palette right here that I got from Amazon, I'll have it linked down below. Um, I'm probably gonna mix this color here and then just start by painting it all over. Yeah, so I'm pretty much just gonna put this paint all over the face and let's just kinda speed through this part. All right guys, so I pretty much have all the blue going on. I look a little crazy, but now I wanna give it some like contour and like brightening under the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of like white color to give some brightening and then go in with the darker blue to give me a little bit of a sculpted contour look. Adding the white to the blue shade will give it like more of a highlighted look. So we have a more like glam Sally, you know? So I'm gonna take this Airspun powder and take this beauty sponge right here and go ahead and just take the powder on here and set it. Just to make sure that all of this paint stays in place. Now I'm gonna go in with the dark blue, mix a little bit with the light one just so it's not too harsh. So we can sculpt her up and look snatched. And then blend it out. See, it's kind of giving me like an illusion of a contour. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contour, still so using that same blue. Now I'm gonna go in and set the face so it's not just gooey and sticky. I'm um, using the same airspun powder and just place it all over. All right, so now we're gonna go onto the eyes. I'm going to just kind of blend out this leftover paint that I have on here. And we're gonna give her like a nice blue cut crease. So now for the eye look, I'm gonna go in with my Lisa Frank palette from Morphe. And we're just gonna give her a nice blue cut crease. So I'm gonna start off with this dark blue right here and apply that into the crease using a Morphe. M441 blending brush. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of the second blue shade, which is Angel Kitty.
So now I'm going to cut the crease. I'm actually going to use the white from the paint palette and just using a Real Techniques detailer brush to go ahead and cut the crease. So now for the lid shade, I'm going to go back into the palette and take this white shadow right here and just place that on top of where I cut the crease. Right now I'm just going back in with the dark blue shades just to blend everything together. Now I'm also going to go in with this white eyeliner that I have and just place it on the lower uh, waterline, lash line. And then I'm also going to go ahead and place the dark blue shadows on the lower lash line. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and start drawing her like stitches. I believe it's stitches, right? And then going down, this is where I'm going to start kind of to draw the shirt a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to use like black face paint on the brush and just paint it on. I don't know why I was using eyeliner. And then I'm going to do one coming out of the eye right here. And then she has it coming out of her eyebrow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let this part dry. Once it dries, I'm going to start drawing on like the little stitches with the white eyeliner because if I go in right now um, it might smear with the black so I'm gonna go ahead and put lipstick on while we let this part dry for the lips I'm gonna be using my Liberty Cosmetics in retro red and then my um, Beauty Creations Guilty Pleasure liquid lipstick So now that we have the lipstick on, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the stitches using the Pastel Please um, White Liquid Liner by Beauty Creations. I'm literally like so focused right now. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now that we have the stitches on, you guys, this is a long process, but we're getting somewhere. Now I have to paint one side yellow. I did the cross down and one side red. And this is going to be a long process as well. And just take that yellow and just paint it all over. So I'm only going to go up to about here because you're not going to really see the bottom. So just up to here. So now we're going to go ahead and paint this side red. So now I'm going to draw the rest of the details for the shirt. It kind of just has little lines here and there and then little swirls on the left side. All 
All right, you guys, so this is the completed Sally Halloween makeup look. All you need to do is add a red wig. I did not have a red wig, so I have to just throw some edits in there. But you guys, I am obsessed on how this Sally came out. Honestly, I did not think I was going to be able to do it. I felt like I saw it and it just looked too challenging for me. But then I got lots of requests to do it and I was like, let me just sit down and try it. It doesn't hurt to try. And honestly, I am in love on how it came out. It's going to be a huge process to take this makeup off though. Um, I also need to go run some errands, so should I go out as Sally today? Comment down below if you actually think I went out like this. We'll see. But yeah, guys, that is all for today's Halloween makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like to see in the future. Please subscribe, stay bloomy, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>